Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Lori Schulte. Thanks for joining us. First, we bring you the buzz for the week of September 2nd through the 8th. The International Day of Peace is coming up on September 21st, and it was recognized by the City Council at its last meeting. The proclamation was made during the August 24th meeting. It was the ninth year the Human Rights Commission accepted the proclamation. The Day of Peace is meant to commemorate and strengthen peace building from individual acts of kindness to global intergovernmental programs. The International Day of Peace was established in 1981. In 2001, the United Nations General Assembly adopted it as a day of nonviolence and ceasefire. The Human Rights Commission is celebrating in Bloomington with a naturalization ceremony on September 9th at 1 p.m. in the Schneider Theater. There will also be an exhibit called A Piece of My Mind, exploring the meaning of peace one story at a time. It goes from September 15th to October 4th in the Civic Plaza lobby. It's made up of 52 portraits paired with each person's answers to the question, what does peace mean to you? The creator will speak at a community event on September 22nd at Civic Plaza starting at 6.30 p.m. He will share stories and lessons from the interviews he conducted on the topic of peace. The pavement management program helps maintain and repair city roads, and that includes seal coating. The process has been done on about 30 miles of road this construction season. Seal coating is a wear-resistant layer that protects pavement from the sun and moisture. To apply seal coating, city crews first put down a layer of oil that works like an adhesive, followed by small graded rock. The excess rock is swept off and recycled. It's done about every seven to 10 years on a road. The process is part of the city's pavement management program, which systematically evaluates and rehabilitates streets in order to keep them safe and functional for residents. The program strives to provide cost-effective upkeep. It includes reconstructions, overlays, and seal coat projects. Recycling is a popular practice these days, but there may be even more you can do to pitch in. Kitchen items are commonly recycled, but how about items in your laundry room, bathroom, or home office? Hennepin County is urging metro area residents to expand their recycling habits by using convenient bins and signage throughout the house. One tip, put a recycling bin next to every garbage can throughout the house, then label the bins to avoid confusion. If you're worried about room, get creative. Hang a bag on the doorknob, put a divider in the trash can, or mount a bin inside a cabinet. You can also make it fun for the whole family by having kids make signs. Common items that end up in the trash but can be recycled include shampoo bottles, medicine containers, detergent bottles, and magazines. The Bloomington Farmer's Market is now even more kid-friendly. The Power of Produce Club, also known as the Pop Club, is coming to the market. It's meant to get kids interested in local food through educational games, conversations with farmers, and vouchers. It's sponsored by the Farmer's Market Coalition and Chipotle and Bloomington was one of 30 markets nationwide selected to participate. Upcoming pop events will take place on September 12th and September 26th. That is the buzz on Bloomington Today for the week of September 2nd through the 8th. If you would like to watch other stories from the show, go to this week's playlist. There you'll find a story about an upcoming event highlighting the programs offered at Creekside Community Center. There's also a video that explains why a piece of the World Trade Center is now in Bloomington. Check them out and thanks for watching.